<laughs> what a classy guy. He's fucking awful. So are we starting to boo? He looks like, he looks like Zenyatta with tennis. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right. Turn on. Turn on. Hey! Ah. It's G Zone. Hey, woo! Welcome to the Vanguard Circle. We got Diesel. We got Kohelet. We got oh, QSA. We got that. Ursus, and we got Kenny. Oh yeah, that's not gonna fly. Um, <laughs> bringing you the Vanguard news that you may or may not have wanted for the last two weeks. Welcome back. Every year. We uh we took a week break because uh we were losing our minds and we needed just a little downtime. We don't like each other that much. So. I mean, we. I mean, we. This uh, couch is very. It's more a giant love I mean, circle. Yeah, more out, than yeah, anything. Outside yeah. of the, the says that the jealousy. Like outside yep. of, outside of the scheduled beer. love times and and then the work. I mean, we'd we'd rather be hanging out with other people. <laughs> but I mean, you know, we we like each other enough to pretend it here, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about spoilers <laughs> and stop making this depressing for everybody watching. Oh, <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, spoilers. Yeah. Woo! Spoilers, spoilers. New, new Batama stuff, which new we may or may what? not gone over. G-Guards. Oh, um, uh, yeah, G-Guard, Rikido Stealth Dragon Gahorakon. Oh, what does that do? Uh, cool. Domination. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponents, create one rear guards in your back row, dominate it, and move it to your uh, guardian circle. It's regarded as your guardian during that battle. Take one of your opponents' rear guards and make it a guardian. Play, play. Sounds great. Sounds cool. Good. So is it any rear guard? Yeah, grade, grade, grade one. one in the back row. Grade, grade one. one. It's very restricted. <laughs> but grade still, I was, very good. I was really hoping to grab their starter. It's cool. I like it. Right, I think it's, 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 it's playable. Good. It's it's not one of the I'm other two. Grab their Fucking right. and I mean like you know if they're <laughs> bad and they've played a perfect guard down or I'm grab their negra bone. It's it's a move. Yeah, yeah, it's a move, not play a switch. Yeah, it's it doesn't mean you can never use it. Proc perfs. Good. Yeah. Good I mean you can take away combo pieces from some decks, like no one likes Blaster Friend Barkle, but let me get that Laurel. Right, get right. Laurel off the table. Let me get that Laurel. Let me get that Stop Stacia. Get that hundred K Katrina. Let me get that Ricard. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's reasons. Like, there's thorny. good picks for it. It's not always gonna be. That, but... It's not busted. Like, it's not like a denial griffin. It, it's technically right. just good. But it's very uh, it's fitting for domination. It's so. playable. We like playable. And then the strictly better card out of the two. Yeah, yeah. stealth dragon ten guy. Oh, ten guy. Uh, auto rare guard. How circle. many guys? Ten. Ten, <laughs> ten of them. <laughs> When a dominated unit attacks during your turn until end of turn, this unit gets auto rear guard circle. Put this unit into your soul. At the end of your turn, you may pay the cost if you do counter charge one. Well, that's just cool. Just so, so good. Let's talk about why it's good. Genkai exists. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> free Genkai free triggers. Souls, free counter charge. Feels we'll, good. We'll talk about Genkai later, but well, this we guy feels Genkai. Genkai I think, did, did we? we? No? Yeah. Maybe we did. Did we talk about Genkai? I feel like Genkai was blown away before this. So. All right. This guy feels Genkai, which you guys already know about. You guys are educated. Bam. If not, go back and watch oh, the no. other episode. Oh, no, I fucking knew it. Genkai's later. <laughs> oh, man, we got some news for you. <laughs> we'll be on Genkai. All right. But, yeah, I mean, when we just talk about Genkai, now you know this guy. He works there. He and Genkai, they're butt buddies. Yeah, they work out. They're good guys. All right, uh, next. Metal Pulsar, Mystery Freeze Dragon. Oh, the official Ooh. reveal. Yeah. Once per turn, mm. Generation Break 3, Counter Blast 2. Uh, shuffle your deck. Fuck. Fine. <laughs> Messes it up. <laughs> Continue, I guess. I don't know what the Bond point is. Find four cards from the top of your uh, deck face up until in turn during that battle that this unit uh, attacks. Your opponent cannot call cards from hand to guard circle with the same grades as the grades of the cards bound with this effect. <laughs> if a grade three card was bound with this effect, this card gets drive plus one. That's okay. Yeah. So, if you played it one. All right, the card's, the card's funny. What I like, though, is Gear Chronicle is slowly becoming... Demiurge into win. Like, Demiurge is going to be setting up all these combos for your next couple turns with strides that need weird stuff. And that just seems fun. Like well, This guy shuffles. He yeah, shuffles. he shuffles first. He, he messed it up. Yeah, oh, man. That's why I said fuck. That, that yeah. Because was... <laughs> that was my That's plan. That was, about. that was my plan. Oh, man. And then the official and then scale came out shuffle. and like, shuffle your deck. I was like, well. Shuffle your deck. <laughs> guess we're going back to four <laughs> Demiurge, four GBA. Yeah. They, they figured it out. Uh, all right. Uh, but I mean, oh. yeah, the card's fine. Yeah. Put it one, probably. It's fun. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, Pulsar Tamer Manish. Uh, G uh, GB1. If you have a Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard, this unit gets continuous resist. Yeah. 
And auto regard circle GB1, when this unit attacks, you may half this card, get power plus 2,000 for each of your Zodiac Time Beast units until the end of that battle. If you do, at the end of the battle, bind this unit face up. We're gonna keep as, as, as Zodiac Time Beast? Yep. And we're just gonna keep referencing this. Oh, this, this isn't a Zodiac Time Beast. <clears throat> the the, 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 the Chania? The Manish, I think? Manish? Yeah. yeah. Rabbit. She should all be ZTB. She should be a. Uh, she's got bunny ears. She's a pulsar tamer, right? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, all pulsar tamer is ZTB. Yeah. Yeah, right. mm. Anywho. Like I was saying, we're gonna preference all Gear Chronicle spoilers with. It's not better than Time Leap yet. Sure. So yeah. re- while the cards might be good, they're not better than what's out. So yeah. they're meh. And pulsar transit dragon. Uh, put this unit. I'm a bus. Oh. It's a bus. <laughs> it's a bus. <laughs> it's a flying bus. <laughs> Insert charge a bug. Cat bus. Uh. Uh, put this unit into your soul at the end of the battle that this unit boosted. If you have a great four bank art with Chrono Jet and its card name, you'll pay the cost if you do draw a card. Stop yeah. playing Time Leap, guys. Yeah. Please? <laughs> Please? We don't want to ban Melon, but... But if we have to, you'll play <laughs> <laughs> I mean, We're yeah. giving you an option. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, next, we have Divine Found Maiden Lian. Mm. Uh, normal Sentinel Rule, Soul Blast, one turf. That, that's what it is. If you have an Alfred or Blast, yeah. if you have an Alfred or Blast, it's Soul Blast. Blast, Blast. But does it only work on Vanguard, or does it work on Rear Guards, too? Um, what? It, it only works on Guardians. It only blocks for Alfred or Blasters. Yeah. Okay. And they have to be Grade 3. Yeah. Okay, I thought you just need the yeah, Vanguard so or three Alfred or I can't see it being played with no other run flip in the deck. You yeah. have to keep playing on flip perfs. Yeah. PGGs yeah. are way too good in Royals. I just hope that those don't become a cycle. Like, that should be the end of that perfect game. Yeah, they, they, yeah. No they did it once. We ever. don't need them to do ever. it again. Never. Never. Yeah. Right. Don't. If you have Blaster is, or Diablo. Don't, don't <laughs> those are okay, but never do that again. <laughs> never. I was furious about that card for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, I got over it, and it's coming back. But, but even if it was a 7k and it's like, oh, hey, a funny effect <laughs> act on it. No, it's still six. It's just... right. None of it. Uh, All right. Uh, back to Nubatom. Uh, Stealth Dragon Utsuroi. Uh, Sentinel... Choose a card from your hand, discard it. When it's placed on guard, just from your hand. All perfect cards off. Uh, drop zone. Uh, choose another self dragon Utsuroi from your drop zone. Put it on the bottom of your deck. Uh, when a dominated unit attack hits a vanguard during your turn, you may pay the cost if you do return this unit to hand. Boom! Oh, look, I can. Super good. Super good. It's good. I, I get to recycle two of my perfect cards. I don't know if you play it over a Kuna. Right, I'm still, yeah, I'm I'm still I'm, really yeah. torn because he's late game and he gives right. you some rewards, but Kerr and I let you play like an eight ball game. And... Yeah. I, I don't think like you want a turtle with. Noobs. Right, I really Nubs. just I really just want to Genkai nine times and, right? and play every dominate thing possible. Yeah, so the card's sure. great, but I don't think you play it. Alright. So on to the On to the Star. Uh Stealth Genkai? Dragon Genkai. In the trial deck. Oh, In the trial oh, deck. Pick of the year. <laughs> uh GB one. Counter blast one, soul blast one. When a dominate unit attacks during your turn, if you have a Vanguard to your new unit's card name, you may pay the cost. If you do draw a card, then this unit gets power plus two thousand every time. The end of turn. Every time. Mm-hmm. Not, Not once, once per turn. turn. Not once per turn. I'm going to soul bless four, counter bless four, draw four. Please. Yep. And then you're going to current eye on the grade one to unflip it back, recall oh. your soul, do it again next turn. It's, oh. Oh. And it's dirty. The plays. So hyped for oh, Genkai. The and they got a red lightning <laughs> clone, too. Holy oh. Toledo. And he's going to be foil in the trial deck. Oh, and is he? Yeah, oh, I almost, if he's not, I'm going to be sad. How many times uh, can you Genkai? That's uh, my deck's common. <laughs> Man, sakes alive. Right. Oh, uh, Genkai. Card's silly. Play it all day. Yeah. Uh. All right, here's some random stuff. Uh, Battle Maiden Scenery, Revelation, Rear Guard Circle. Uh, auto Rear Guard Circle once per turn. When this, when your other Rear Guard is rest due to the effect of your card, look at the top card of your deck, put it on the top or bottom. <laughs> and if you put it on the bottom of your deck, this unit gets 2k until end of turn. So we're coming back to stop playing Wiseman Loop. Yeah. Right. <laughs> They're trying stop to put out Revelation, <laughs> which right. with the Fender that's out, more Revelation support seems fun. But you see, here's the problem I have with the current with the new stuff coming out. It's not good revelation support. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Bro, like, it's okay. The problem is that we have a new grade three, not a new Fenrir. Yeah, but nothing to like pair with it yet. Like, cause the current so, uh, revelation threes are pretty bait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wall ravage dragon. Uh, regard oh, circle. Regard circle off the front row. GB1, retire this unit when your opponent's unit is put into the guard circle. If your vanguard is blazing, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or her grade 3 or less guardians and retires it. Gonna be funny with Sadeg. Memes. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Wait, does Sadeg work off guardian circle? No, it just works off any retire. So yeah. if you retire him when that retires Your opponent's gonna have to retire something. It's cheaper Hulk Roar. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so, well, for Guardians, I guess. But, yeah. Um, oh, these are Monkey Bush Road. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. These are the There's Monkey no Bush Road. Never mind, that's the weird one. Mm -hmm. uh, Wyvern Kid uh, Data. Um, Forerunner plays GB1. Retire this unit when your Vanguard becomes blazing. You may pay the cost if you do. Counter charge one, draw a card, choose one of your units, and it gets three cancel in the turn. Yeah, Madoy. Oh. Madoy Alright, uh, Scattering Stealth Road, uh, Surugia. Um, GB1, when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, choose up to any two fighters, uh, other units in the same column as this unit, and they get power plus two cancel on the turn. And that's a new time one, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> more uh, actually not dominate like, players. Yeah, like I'll probably like attack stack her. power on that dominated units. Mm -hmm. We'll see how we get her in English. Yeah, if ever. It'll, pro it'll probably if be ever. with the set. If ever. Oh, Hopefully, boy. right. <laughs> oh, did we get to talk about Ziegenberg? Uh, Ziegenberg. <laughs> oh man, the great blimp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, man. flare arm Ziegenberg, fish release. Uh, blaze once per turn. Uh, Soul Plus 1, choose a face down card from your, with the same name as this in your G zone, turn it face up, choose one of your opponent's units and retire it. Uh, Otto, Vanguard Circle, GB3, once per turn, counter blast 1, choose a card from your hand for each of your opponent's rear guards and discard them. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked the Vanguard, if this unit is blazing, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this unit and it gets drive plus, drive minus 2 until end of turn. So those two effects are separate? Yep. yep. I don't so need to thing, flip in order to st restand. That's nope. one thing I like about Ziegenberg. So if you're playing four times? <laughs> Blade Master and you <laughs> hold on to retires, right? You just Ziegenberg four times. Oh, right? man. <laughs> yep. It's so good. Oh. No, Ziegenberg's fine. I mean, it's a restander. They're hard to say. No deal. Right. Like, re restander's yeah. usually pretty solid. Yeah. Yep. Fui. Uh, Divine Dragon Knight, Abdicellum. Uh, G Guardian, counter blast one when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle during the battle that your Vanguard is attacked by your opponent's Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets shield plus 10,000 for each of your opponent's open rear guard circle until end turn. Sometimes you get rewarded for it's, playing hand trap. Yep. <laughs> this, this is that. <laughs> Damn near almost a perf. Especially late game when they don't have much of a field and it's just Vanguard swinging on you praying for the best. Yep. But what's that, plus 50? I'll go up to 71. Yeah, Thanks. Not? Alright. Oh, uh, it's that boy. It's that boy. Uh, and my stealth dragon, Magan Tenbu. Oh, baby. Uh, cool. Uh, domination. Act Vanguard Circle once per turn. Counter blast one. Choose a face down card with the same cards this name. Turn face up. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and it gets power plus 3,000 for each face up card in your G zone until end of turn. Dominate this unit as stand. It attacks another of your opponent's units, and at the end of the battle, retire the dominated unit. Turn's fine. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I Turn's mean, solid. And it's for every face-up card in your G's yep. and not just the ones that are copies of him. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. 3k for each. Yeah. Super big dominating unit. Yeah, why not? If they have uh, one of those funny interactions <laughs> on board, you can try to pull off some super memes with it. Yeah. Indeed. Right. Yeah. Also, just Player. kind of spot retire, so cool. Also, what's his timing? Main phase? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you get to place all your Genkai's from hand and use them, oh, yeah. too. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'll play these five Genkai's. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> Five <laughs> I mean, you actually only need one. It's just a bunch of stuff. So. Sure. Right. Um, cool. Uh, slashing Strike of Sorrow, Brugirius. Mm -hmm. uh, act. Once per turn, counter blast one. Choose a face down card from G zone and turn it face up. Soul Charge three. Choose one of your units for each Soul Charge card with different grades, and they get power plus 5k until end of turn. If a uh, cart with the darkness ability is soul charged with this effect, choose up to one of grade three from soul and put it into your hand. He's okay. Uh, yeah. Solid yeah. Friend. It lets First you stride again, again and they, they wanted a card that gives them GB2, so. Yep. Yep. I mean, I think a record is just a cooler, but. Right. Okay. Um, Sweetie 13. More DI. More DI. Yeah, I just want to. more promos, read. right? Comments. Are these all promos? Oh, uh, no, I think these are... No, these are set cards. Uh, this one's a promo, though. So, funny uh, thing about her real quick is the grade 1 3k base power. Yeah. Yep. Toe-to-toe right. -to -toe with the main. All right. Uh, <gasps> darkness. During your turn, this unit gets power plus 1,000 for each card in your soul. Not GB restricted. Not GB just GB darkness restricted. restricted, which is kind of cool. Yeah. At the end of your turn, if this if the number of cards in your soul is 13 or greater, retire this unit. Wham, wham. Wham, I, I, don't, I don't think she's attacker. that cool. How dare. Mm. She's not that cool. Nah. There's better cards. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, uh, Brennan Vampire. These are in the set. Brennan? Brennan, it's me. Mm. Uh, Counterblast 1, when this 
uh, DB1 Darkness. Counter Blast 1 with this unit attacks the Vanguard. If you have a Vanguard with Shahard in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets power plus 1000 for each card in your soul until the end of the battle. At the end of that battle, put this unit in Soul Draw card. Super good. This is actually mm. really good. <laughs> Just an amazing card. Like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, blah, blah. And, uh, Phantasm, B Spider, Sabna. Uh, G Guardian, Counter Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle during the battle, let your opponent's Vanguard attack. If the number of cards in your soul is 10 or more, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets shield plus 5k. Choose one of your vanguards, and it gets uh, power plus 5k until end of turn. I like it just for the, yeah, uh, the power plus, plus 5. Is, yeah. I mean, when, I, when I first read this card, I didn't realize it was vanguard to vanguard. I'm like, holy shit, this card's nuts. It yeah. just turns off dominate, essentially. <laughs> and then I reread it, and I was sad. And I was like, yeah, that card's still fine. All right. But it does great things. Oh man, you ready for DI that boy? Oh, this is the DI card that, that boy. got me excited for DI. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bread in mouth. Oh, he's super good. He loves bread. One who splits <laughs> darkness, bread mouth. Yes, that's yeah. Yes, yeah that's the yeah, only we're name. About bread mouth. Bread yeah. mouth. Yeah, bread mouth. Bread, bread mouth. In the house. Nope, no, no other way to say it. Just bread mouth. Uh, Vanguard. Once per turn. GV two darkness. Counter plus one. Choose a face down card from your G zone with the same name as this unit. Turn your face up. And choose two cards from your hand. Put into your soul. Uh, when this unit attacks, if the number of cards in your soul is 10 or more, you may pay the cost. If you do, return all of the grade 0 cards from your soul and rear guard circle to your deck. Shuffle your deck, choose two of your units, and they get power plus 5k until end of turn. At the end of that battle, stand this unit and get your drive minus 2. So, this card's nuts. <laughs> Breadmouth's yeah. super good. It's so My good. only negative drawback with him is the he doesn't flow well with a enigmatic. Uh, no. But if he I, did, he would be even Right, he'd just be he long just like. This and the gill into this, and it's just like, okay, I'm done with the assassin. But putting all your triggers back in deck without having to play, uh, what is it, Serpent Charm or whatever? <laughs> Another small downside to him is that you have to have the two cards in hand yeah. on yeah. the attack. Well, it's cool as you can set up Ignite Magnus yeah, with that. Yeah. And as a note, uh, Breed Moof is the name of, it's a, like, the Switzerland version of a vampire. Oh. And uh, if you don't believe me, you can uh, Google that shit. And if you've already Googled that shit, fuck you. <laughs> How dare you? I'm supposed to be the teacher here. How dare you not? <laughs> so that's super good brave card, though. He will take in your mouth, IDD. Uh, <laughs> God, ED, you. <laughs> uh, heroic Divine Knight, Hall Blocks. Hall Blocks? Oh. Hall Blocks. <laughs> DD. Hall Blocks. Half Blocks. Alright, uh, Vanguard Circle 1's return, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and choose a face down card from your G's out, same as this unit, turn to face up. Uh, search your deck for up to one card with the Brave ability for each face-up card with the Brave ability in your G-Zone. Call them the separate rear guard circle. Those unit gets power plus 2,000 for each call unit until end of turn. Shuffle your deck. Are there, uh, are well, there a good amount of cards there's with not, Brave in the G-Zone? Uh, many that played in the main Apparently deck. Apparently Fides doesn't have Brave. Yeah, yeah he, he doesn't. doesn't. Sad Enough to make this card super good. Because what all are you running? Brave Lancer. Yep. GR has Brave, right? Yep. So that's five right there. And then if you're playing Close Nifts, it'd be even better. Okay. So the next like, question is, do you run Brave over Blaster? No. 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 <laughs> Not no. over it, but it's, it's if, you, if you don't feel like buying Blaster it. Engine, Brave's really, really fun. Yeah. And Brave's good. Like, it the, took, the uh, ult took eighth place at uh, stand-up. What? Yeah, yeah, Brave Ultima took eighth place. What? Yep. Gyron. Oh, mm -hmm. and Vanguard, Brave, Counter Blast 1, this unit gets power plus 5,000 until end of turn. Not once a turn. Not once a turn. Not Not once it's super turn. big. We call him Bam Saint Patty because of his... Uh, oh, dude, Chrono Dog. Chrono Dog. Bark, bark. Quadruped Chrono Jet. Getting there. Uh, the Pulsar Cruising Dragon. Oh, I said a Cursing Dragon. <laughs> nope. Uh, GP1, <laughs> Regard Circle. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard with Chrono Jet, it's card name. This unit gets fire plus 2k. And auto Regard Circle Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at uh, three cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Zodiac Time Beast from among them, put it into your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. Ah, oh, that filter. Yeah. Guys, just play ZTB. That's what they want. They <laughs> stop playing. <laughs> they don't timely. want Time Leap. Time Leap isn't good. Guys, I swear. This is much better. No. It's not. It's meant until further notice. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. All right, more stuff. Um, Sentinel, uh, Goddess of Adherence, Kibitsune. More Genesis? Kibitsuhime. There you go. More Genesis. Tsuhime. Yep. Revelation Guardian on Guardian Circle, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, When this unit is retired from Guardian Circle, if you have uh, this card in your soul, you may soul charge two. Oh. Neat. Yep. I like being able to check for that miracle heal. Feels good. Neat. <laughs> that's, that's just good Is it own. there? Oh. 
Yeah, we're gonna use 70 million. I'll take it. Yeah, but wouldn't you soul charge too? And it'd be gone. Um, you may soul charge too. So if you heal, see the heal, you just leave it. Oh, yeah. You soul charge No. No, I'm not good. I see a soul charge. Oh, no, you bounce a sack. You got on top of your deck? No, 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 no. Nope. Bullshit. Stealth Rogue of Amazing Ability, Morishike. Uh, Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. Once returned, GB1, choose another of your rear guards and rest it. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, and it gets power plus 3,000 until end of turn. If he or she does, this unit gets power plus 10,000 until and end of turn. And this guy is a grade 3 11k. Like, yeah. He is it's, so it's good. good. I'm going to tech 2 just because that 21 plus the dominated unit being mm-hmm. bigger is too good not to do. These are TDs. TD cards. No, nah, this is a common. Oh, it's a common? Yeah, yeah. It's common. He's just a super good common from oh. G11. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Uh, Mon's follower, Odiot Thunder. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear guard circle, soul charge one. If the soul charge card wasn't Mon and has Mon in its card name, you know, you have this unit get minus 4k until end of turn. If you do soul charge one and this unit gets 5k for every five cards in your soul until end of turn. It's, oh, it's okay it's if it's the soul charge doesn't have to be a Mon. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, I mean, it's it, perfect. Yeah, it's because the minus 4k is would, also annoying. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, you would have the thing I'm super hyped for. I'm on deck. <laughs> all right. American all, Idol, the archetype. For all you Bermuda players, Cho Cho debut stage Tarua. Uh, oh, no, the new look at that movie. art. The yep. trial deck ace. The quality. Yep. <laughs> Auto, Vanguard, Circle, Counterblast 1. When your G unit strike, you may pay the cost. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck. Put into your hand, and if the, that card is a card with the Cho Cho in its name, choose up to one of your rear guards, put it on the bottom of your deck. If you put a card on the bottom of your deck, draw a card. There's a lot going on there. Yep. Yep. So, so I think what? You bounce one, draw two? Bounce one, draw two. Uh, yeah, you're available. If, if you get a Cho Cho? Yeah. If you, if you yeah, but to... I'm assuming since it's the first reveal, we're going to get a lot more Cho Chos. Yeah, it's probably going to be the archetype. And then uh, Vanguard. It's not going to be like a Luard. Be like a full R-type? Yeah, like full Cho Cho. Oh, cool. She'll have a break ride. Doesn't work. The way well I'm looking at it. it is, uh, like her name herself's Tira, and then it's Cho Cho debut stage, like Cho Cho so French blah blah blah. I'm thinking it's just American Idol. You're gonna see a bunch of debut stage, and the strides are gonna be this part of it. It's gonna be Love Live. Yeah, just a giant competition deck. Cho Cho mm. rehab stage. <laughs> Cho Cho getting over trauma. years in the future, it's just like child star problems, you know. Like Cho Cho overcoming cocaine addiction. <laughs> she did really good. She, she did really good on uh, on Megalia Guy Talon, and then it just all went downhill from there. Cho Cho starving herself. <laughs> like your heel triggers just trafficking bust. Right. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, then continuous Vanguard Circle GB one during your ride phase. If the number of re- of your rear guards is one or less, you may stride without paying the stride cost. What? Yeah. Ooh, alternate stride cost. How can Bermuda's get rid of their field, though? They don't bounce. Never. That's outrageous. Never. That's fine. We'll just blow them up. They don't have rear guards for domination, either. Nope. Uh, you got to force them on the You just call them from drop. You can go in. Man. <laughs> All right. Uh, goddess of Investigation Ishtar, the thing you, you were complaining about for so long. Uh, Revelation, Vanguard Circle. Uh, Soul, Soul Blast 3, choose a face down card with the same name as this. No, just anything. In turn, face up. When your drive check reveals a great one or greater card, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose the same number of units as the number of face-up goddess of investigation each time in your G-Zone, and they get power plus 3,000 until end of turn, and if the card revealed by the drive check has the revelation ability, stand those rear guards. Is there anywhere once a turn on that? Nope. So you can just flip up four strides first stride? Nope. (laughs) (laughs) That's actually hilarious. (laughs) Right. If only their GBA was wasn't fucking terrible. Ishtar Guess it's halfway to GBA. <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's gonna be a good time. Oh god, oh god. Uh-huh. We can't send any more of your rear guards, huh? Uh, uh no, it's Stance. only for each drive track, so you can flip like this. Well, right. Yeah. yeah. But you can still use... flip a bunch. You well, you'll use... be three and then her going back at the end of the turn. Yeah. Well, I like that if you keep flipping her up, you're gonna keep giving them those bonuses, 30s. Like, that's mm-hmm. funny. Right. That's a funny <laughs> switch drive. <laughs> Uh, Goddess of Ephemeral Awanami. Uh, Revelation Rearguard. GB1, when this card is put into your drop zone from Soul, you may Soul Charge 1. Then if uh, you have a Vanguard with Revelation, you may Soul Charge 1. Okay. Feels good. Mm. We like setting up stand trigger plays. Tis yeah. nice. Do we want to skip thing. the trial deck cards? Um, well, let's see. There's, Do a, it. there's a lot of them. Oh, uh, let me see. There's a 10k that doesn't matter. There's vanilla 8k that doesn't matter. Do we ever go over Gengai? Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. Uh, yeah, we got Gen Kai. Gen Kai of all the matters. Gen Kai, Gen Kai, Gen Kai, Gen Kai. Heal trigger. You only have four of them. That's a tough fact. I wish you could play it. I wish you could play that heal. You gotta play that. That has Croxless Chaps on. There is a grade through domination in the. Yeah, that one's actually worth talking about. They do have a pretty sweet drawn trigger. Have the non TV specific dominate. I mean, it's a Margul. It's a better Margul. True. You get to choose anything. <laughs> Alright, uh, sure. Um, Demon Stealth Rogue Genba. You get to choose your opponent's stuff, Anthony. Yeah. Domination, <laughs> Auto, Vanguard Circle, GB1, Soul Blast 1. At the beginning of your battle phase, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row, Dominator He's stand. One of yours. And it attacks one of your opponent's units. Oh, is it? Yeah. Dang it. Dang it. I can't read. That's, that's about. All that's pretty much worth out of this product. It's yeah, funny. everything else is just yeah, your vanilla just 10Ks, 8Ks, stuff. triggers. Dang, we're right. here already? All right. Yeah. Last two of the day. What? In reversal of the other one. That uh, makes more sense. Yeah. Pulsar Revolver Draco Kid. Shoots oh. a great three Zodiac time beast from your hand and reveal it. When this unit is placed on rear guard circle from hand, you might pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one great three Zodiac time beast, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Choose a card from your hand, discard it. Yeah, let's give Woo. the stepchild support. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Chrono Fang. I'm not gonna lie. This. While you're paying the cost for Strife, this unit gets great plus. Oh, it's Strife Fighter for Chrono Fang. Oh, so, hot that, dog. That almost makes it worth just playing the uh, one up jet just to search with them to yeah. bind with Chrono oh, Fang yeah. ability. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I was just gonna play through Chrono yeah, Fang. My, only, my, my biggest gripe is that it doesn't and play Gear Colossus. Like yeah. they keep some, saying, "Hey, here's Gear Colossus that did stuff with ZTB." Gear Colossus and ZTB right. mixing right. like almost works, and it just feels. Yeah, but then they don't have the equal amount of support. They right. just like support random right. shit together, and it's just like, no, Gear Colossus is still screwed. So yeah, yeah. So. All right. yeah. In the meantime, you still can't play time. Like, yeah. yeah. Stop playing. Finally, uh, Metal Pulsar Avenir Phoenix. Uh, Auto Vanguard oh, Circle. Kind of blast okay. one. Choose a face down card from your G zone with the same name as this. Turn a face up. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost if you do reveal five cards from the top of your deck. And for each face up card in your G zone, call up to two Zodiac Time. Use the separate rear guard circle from among them. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Chrono Fang, slow down. Ah, Chrono Fang, getting, getting more attacks. Stuff. What? ZTB multi attacking without time leap? I mean, even Whoa. then, it's like you get, That's Chris you get pluses. Which Chrono Fang desperately needed on their first try. Right. They, mm -hmm. Desperately needed. They and, needed something on par with Metal uh, with uh, yeah. uh, with Phoenix. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now they have. A they Phoenix. have a Phoenix. It's not on par, but it's good. It's still right. Least, it's yeah. yeah. And then continuous Vanguard GB three. All of your Zodiac Time Beast regard skip, plus, power plus two K, which is important. Kind of. Yeah. Monkey hit sixteen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The place. <laughs> not that you play Monkey, but. I wouldn't be playing monkey. Uh, monkey. We'll talk about that during card. show talk. <laughs> Monkey's so bad. No, I think that's all of them, right? Yep, that's all, that's all of them. The wow. So we know all the triples for set 11. Yep. All nine of them. Oh, nine yeah. What do you think? This set looks fun. Yeah, this set's pretty I'm yeah. quality. I'm mm -hmm. excited for DI for some reason. <laughs> I mean, it looks fun. I mean, bread mouth, man. Bread it's all about that bread mouth. That new Shire Rat, mostly. Just yeah. going... Gil with ignatic, three Ignatic Assassins in the back, and then sh a Shaharat on each side. It's just fun. So, I'm hyped for like Dominate. It feels fun Big again. Tom. Two 36k Toms and a Gil to ride in the middle. Just feels good. Um, <laughs> I'm just ready for Dominate, man. I think all oh, the interaction is oh. going to be the most fun part of it, oh, just well, playing against your this, opponent. What's the requirement for a CB2 deck cycle? Pretty sure it's Darkness. Yeah. I'm going to play a Mantra Hard. Just give him 30k every turn. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I don't think you can give him power unless he has a mana. Yeah, I think you have to pick an Amon to give all yeah. the stuff. Are we not yeah. filming anymore? No, it's still on. Okay, good. I thought you hit the button. Reverse. Oh. I, mean, I guess, yeah. I, I think of all the DI Amons, is the one I'm least excited for. <laughs> See, that's the one I'm most excited, excited for. for. <laughs> it's just so bleh. It's... I like Amon. I used to love Amon, and then Charlotte came out, and I don't care anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, I don't think you... I don't, New Sharat is not very good on the Vanguard. You still want one Glen's End, I think. Oh, I love Glen's End. Glen's End is so good. Great it's just getting better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's... Kind of plus one Soul Charge 5. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, don't mind if I do. You never let me down before.
familiar. You guys like the okay. show? And right I don't back. see you yeah. anymore. Well, guys, did you know that Imagine Your Goddess has its own web store? Check out all the neat merchandise. Ball scrolls, play mats. Don't forget about the acrylics and the other goodies. Oh, Helen. Yeah. I'm here. Get them in store at the Stand Up Series. Or check us out online at our website, shopiyg.com. We're always adding new stuff. Imagine, Imagine your goddess. goddess. Hello, we're back. Uh, Eat my dick and <laughs> We're talking about oh, why, though. Oh, yeah. Now you gotta Hansen. take it out. <laughs> now that this beat me uh, out. Just cherry pick that. <laughs> Hey, guys. hey welcome back! Hey. My name's Ash, I love editing. Yeah! Hours hey. 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 of it. Eat my dick ass. <laughs> show, talk, show, talk. What are we talking about? Stop. Did you stop it? What? Just go. Ah, fuck! <laughs> he loves editing, man. I just love it. Ah! Uh, show, talk, show, talk, where we talk about the show. Hi, guys! Hi. Uh, hey, did you guys see those two episodes about Cosma having a fucking. Childhood stress related panic attack? Nope. Was <laughs> oh, let's talk attack. about it then. All right. <laughs> so, the last couple episodes in a row have been about Cosma. In case you guys forgot who Cosma is, he's the tryhard who plays Luard. Is he a tryhard? He plays for Luard's tryhard. He goes to him every game. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> he's there for the fun. Yeah. And, he's uh, as bad as Chrono. Yep. So, uh, so we watch these episodes where uh, the first one, uh, Cosma chart. Uh, challenges his brother to a Onimaru to a duel. Yeah, they're both Please, Onimaru. Spoiler. Who's Kazumi? Kazumi. Kazuma. Kazuma. Kazumi. 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 Versus Kazumi. Yeah. Onimaru. Yes. Yes. They're both on Onimaru. No, they're not. No. No, the one showed you. No, yeah, he showed you. Oh, he showed you. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, the blue hair showed no. you. Yeah, that whole that uh, makes sense. branches thing. Oh, fuck it. No, they actually bugged me. The, the, Whatever. For anyway. like 30 minutes. <laughs> Like, and anyway, so he not a Hyuga, uh, yeah, had a fight against Neji and uh, lost mm-hmm. surprisingly. Oh, yeah, it was, a, it was like literally the same fight, the, uh, it was it was pretty the much the exact Japan. same thing. Um, but throughout the episode, they had little flashbacks of him as a kid, and every once in a while, it'd show him dramatically losing to his brother, and every once in a while, it would mm. show him. Dramatically in front of this shadowy figure, of which they did not name or do anything with. They kept saying those guys. So either his family's in deep with the yakuza, they're either deep in with the yakuza, or that's his dad. And it was just like some one of one of those weird. We're not gonna name the the antagonist here. The antagonist is actually his dad. You find out the antagonist is that dad. What if it was just Shirinui? Ash? <laughs> bum, bum, bum! <laughs> no, what if it, the oh, shadowy figure was just Shirinui? Oh, it's just Shirinui. It was just Shirinui. Shirinui. In the past? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, the Yakuza is just run by Shirinui. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Not to boy Yasuo, he run in the Yakuza. <laughs> um, so... I'm not a dragon, it's just a tattoo. I didn't care that much. It's a tattoo. a tattoo of a person. I didn't care that much about Kazuma, because every time he lost... Like, Kazuma dead. They kind of showed, showed him They kind of showed losing all these games, and all I could think was, why, why are you so mad, bro? Like, you got to lose it's games before game. you win games. It's... It's important he to knew. playing card games. Right. To... He knew the risk of losing. They're, they're just playing Limit Break right. as kids, and he's just like, hey man, what's GB1 do? Don't worry about it, Cosmo. We're not at that stage. Right, yeah. obviously, Cosmo was cheating. Right. Like, he, <laughs> he gave him a full Luard deck 10 years prior to when it was relevant, and right. was just like, it's like, it's just like one day work. I'll tell you how these cards do things, but only after a bunch of shit happens. But only when you're ready. Until then, I'm playing no. <laughs> Here's a Blackwing Swordbreaker. How do I call it? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I I don't know this this follows a lot of weird trends from the from uh, the show. One of them being the getting cards way before they come out situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why is there one random Luar deck in the middle of uh, what at the time would have been like G one like era like Aichi's playing with Blaster Blade and this kid's playing with Luard with the plug. Uh, <laughs> And, uh... Well, it should be noted. What was a little skipped all, like, season two. Yeah. Because right then, like, ten years earlier than this episode... Actually I mean, happened, how old is Cosmo? Yeah. They were, uh... 
Yeah. Fucking oh, no. um, yeah. guy yeah. strode yeah. into yeah, new Big Belly. I mean, uh, depending on how young he was, Aichi wouldn't have even been playing Vanguard yet. Yeah. And this kid's playing Blue Art. Right. <laughs> but I forget, like, what was Kazuma's first episode of Vanguard like? Like, did he know what Vanguard was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he knew what Vanguard was. He was like, hey, can you teach me how to he play He was playing this a game, again? and instead of banking on a miracle, he'll just scoop, and that was his Yeah, game. I remember him scooping. I just didn't remember, like, it was like Naoki. It was just uh, like, it was one of those things where he's like, hey, this is how this works, right? Yeah, that's how you play Vanguard. Cool. And finally, yeah, as a kid, and finally and Cosmo's art yeah. is fulfilled because he decides to not scoop, and he hits that miracle heal. I mean, he loses the game anyway because he's garbage. But he felt real big. But he felt that really deal. big yeah. about sticking it out to the end. Scoop. I mean, he even had the whole thing, I'm not who I used to be because I suck. Uh, <laughs> he did good. Yeah. Um, Didn't somebody at like, our locals do that? Yeah, well, yeah, it happens all the time. It's but like, 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 it was like, see, like, you just yeah, crit me, I lose, and then like, like triple shit. heal, he's like, well, no, Look you don't us. lose. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I try to teach someone it's stupid. It's like, well, you almost won, but then I, right, Vanguard yeah. happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then you got Vanguard <laughs> in the face. So. So, um, and then at that point, you can't not Spectral Blast for them next turn. That's just rude. Like, you got to show them how Vanguard right. feels. Right. You have to go back different. into drag drag. Feels bad. True, always going to drag driver again. I will cost one solo. Feels bad. Yeah. Basically um, the same card. Yeah. We, got, we got to see Mujin Lord work that episode. I think True. was the first time we yeah. really got to Lord at max see Mujin Lord. No, he used it against uh, Dark Regular Dude. Did we see it like do its whole no, we thing? Saw the whole these... spiel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, no, then, he, I mean, we well, then do, nothing like, new things. happened in the game. We got to see the other double R stride yeah. and dominate and retire again. We saw Genkai yeah. draw five yeah, cards. And Genkai! Oh, oh, right. yeah, Genkai place. kept going Dicks off. Dicks out for Genkai. Five Dicks out cards. for Genkai. <laughs> um, I didn't like that episode all that much, but I did like the next episode. Corona which, versus Onimaru. Yeah, so uh, Onimaru is about mm-hmm. to challenge Chrono, and he's got this weird grandma face going on. Put it up. It's... <laughs> terrifying and this is all this is I all mean, off the record this is the scariest thing no yeah he put he holds up his hands because he's like oh i'm gonna fucking fight you now you guys are done and then bing bong time's up guys sorry no games are gonna count after this shit so now we're just and, fighting for and crowd. So, yeah and onimaru was onimaru was gonna blitz like shirna is just like all right i'll fucking see you tomorrow and i'll kick your ass then <laughs> And Chrono's like, no, man, you're going to kick my ass now. <laughs> I'm afraid of no dragon. Cosmo, watch me get beat. <laughs> get out of here. Get back here and spank this ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you the and power Cos- of my monkey. And at first, Cosmo was just like, no, I've been defeated by my brother again, and he's meaner than he used to be, so I just can't handle this shit no more. And he's like, all right, I'll watch this game for a little bit. And then Chrono's like, all right, I better tell my friends the truth. This isn't really your brother, brother. This is like an alien from space. He's like, don't you fucking talk about my brother that way! And I love it like your brother. Yeah, fuck you, my love, brother! I love that the episode shows how their team works out. Like, you've got the little Gurgo player in the background just calming Cosmo down. Cosmo's like, no, you don't need to fight him. And then Chronix out of nowhere, bitch, <laughs> five seconds. <laughs> just Hold up now. Hang tight. <laughs> While I lose this game. <laughs> You're going to watch me lose. And so he did. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the short answer of what yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah Chrono Claw Monkey getting dominated did a lot. Chrono Apparently even get wins. past that, that, that uh, next stage turn? Um, no, he got, no, he 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 got punched in the mouth. He died, uh, he died to Chrono Dran. John. And yeah, then, he, yeah, he died to the Vanguard. Oh, well, yeah, but so, Dran. Dran's so the guy There's two noteworthy things about this episode. Let's talk about Dran first. Dran. Poor little guy. Poor little so, Dran got dominated, and he's like, "No, I don't want to hit myself." It's like putting down your dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he punches him, and then he kind of faints. And Chrono Jack catches him in midair, but it looks like he's shooking him like a rag doll. <laughs> so he's just laying there, limp in his hands. He's just like, "What have I done?" <laughs> My bar! <laughs> and he turns around and looks at Shirnu, and Shirnu's like, he, he, he. And it's just like, you know, it was it was a really, like, solid moment in the thing. 
You see, you see, that, you see. I'm glad you all aren't as bad as me. When I fought Shifto by myself, I just saw him. It's like turn around with him in his hand. The guy's about to attack, and I, I saw his hands go up. So I was just like, oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, he's like this, like, oh, okay, okay, cool. Redeem yourself. Oh, totally. <laughs> new guy, John Reefrand. Skill. He, he, uh, he refused to punch. Not to punch. Uh, got my handy attack. sword cozy. <laughs> <laughs> so that, Sheath, go do something. Uh-huh. That, <laughs> that was one prevalent part of the episode. The other one is that we mm-hmm. finally fully figure out what Shirnui is up to. And Shirnui is just trying to stop humans from playing Vanguard so they stop fucking up Cray. So Which is reasonable, I mean. Yeah, I mean yeah. He's ba- he basically is under the impression and they didn't really mm-hmm. say whether or not it is the way that it works. But basically, he thinks that the winning image situation is causing real time havoc in the uh, in in Cray. So all these people who are at odds fighting, and the the big dragon shield dude who saw the Conros and oh, Barney gee. die, um, like those were all instances of people mm-hmm. going through their winning image. Like Overlord mm-hmm. and uh, Blaster Blade. Overlord would just be chilling somewhere. Oh, Blaster Blade probably husking corn, but <laughs> Kai and Aichi fought all the time, so Kray is just fucking so, exploding. Yeah, exactly. It's like, if it, if it hadn't been for us doing winning image things, yeah, then Kray would be corn. like a world of peace this and harmony, armor. and there'd be one nation, <laughs> and they'd all, you know... Uh, but that's good writing here, there. Take that's the last year. Yeah. Story. No, it, it, oh, is. Yeah. it gives a reason for this so, guy to be like, y'all just playing but, a game. Why are she dying? Right. But like, I kind of wish that Shiro knew he had approached it like that. Like, had just been like, but I'm like, you guys think this is a fucking game? We're dying out there. Yeah, but <laughs> you know? on that same respect, like, Chaos Breaker invaded Earth to take well, people's well, minds I mean, over. He, he invaded. Cray, and then Kai did shit on Earth based on that. Yeah. Yeah. So they did it first. So they got this coming. <laughs> Plus the whole... <laughs> <laughs> but that only happened after Kai and Aichi had been playing for two whole seasons uh, fucking with Cray before that. Like, the whole reason why Cray had to break the limits was because Kai and Aichi were playing gods down here in regionals up and shit. Plus, it's blowing up still vampires and shit for no reason. It's not like they do bad. Like, every now and then, deleters come out of nowhere, try to blow up Cray and Earth, and we play some kind of fucking fake vanguard to beat their ass. Yeah, fake tag team. We imagine that that deleters aren't as bad as they are. Right, that they're actually competition. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, uh, <laughs> to be fair, they didn't have stride until that one stride, so no, they were just deleted and stuck. Yeah, but uh, you know, like I think I do think it's compelling, and I think it's something worth saying. But if Shirnui's right, we should all stop playing Vanguard. Yeah, we really need to stop right. rocking up Cray. Final right season, Shirnui was fucking right. <laughs> right, stop playing Vanguard. Get all your information. We're all gonna go play buddy to, fight. To no, fuck you guys, we're actual people. Drum right. had had to see three of his Conros put down. Like, and an Undo. That's, and an Undo. That's devastating. Undo's the boy. Kirito dual wheel dragon. Now, see, I, I do feel though that this does take from the buddy fight storyline, because in the buddy fight storyline, it's like. All these worlds are actually at war with each other, and they chose to give Earth buddy fight so that they could have their mm-hmm. tussles in a safe environment where people didn't die all the time. And it's like that's a, that's the correct way. We see we see that the problem is now we've admitted this. We're all gonna feel real bad if that's the final result at the I'll, end of the I'll season. Be, I'll feel I feel awful. Don't. Like if okay, because they're like, well, we're just gonna keep letting you play Vanguard, and we're just gonna stop. Fighting for no fucking reason. Right. And, well, what's gonna happen? It's like it's like okay. Well, it turns out we were right, and that your guys' winning images are killing Craig. But damn, you guys play a good game of card fight. I guess we'll uh, we'll just pack up and go home and give these bodies back to the to the model and the rich guy. Well, you see, and that's the, what and I liked about that, 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 that Kagro episode. Is you saw like five you know Conros. Yeah. But what does that do for like Blaster Blade? He sounds like he's like some. Well, you want four blaster blades. Like, you, you, you've got to think about this, though. Like, this sure, Nui doesn't There's seem to give a yeah. fuck, but you've got Drum Jitty's playing and someone just retire something. He's having fucking Vietnam War flashbacks. Like, mm. 
Right. That's that good shit. <laughs> right. Hey, yeah, I retire that skill. Oh, no, Connor! <laughs> wow. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Don't put out me back in like, the hole. Shadow Pile, they kill their friends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right, what about Shadow Pile and just uh, over in Cray? Just, yeah, I slit my friend's throat, I get a stand again. <laughs> <Right>. Worth it. <laughs> hey, God, the mock is dead. Just, They're just hacking each now. other down. <laughs> Wait, right. Right. You're Rebecca now. Rebecca! I was Kaivan a minute ago. Oh, don't worry, Rebecca, you can Augusto. do something now. <laughs> Mirka, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Now that they <laughs> have like Rachel, I even <laughs> see it as like some crazy satanic shit. Like, it's True. Just, it's just like, oh, I'm so weak. Oh! <laughs> For the greater good! <laughs> See, that's actually one thing that bugged me about that episode, is that he's like, oh, upset, he's, he's really upset in heart. Yeah, that's actually, you, you gotta kill your friends, and you gotta that his war friends and are skill, throw them back, into the, <laughs> back he, into the ranks. Bring those guys back, we need them again. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, about how chaotic Tachi got is. Think about the armies of Belial out You just ate them! He was just a baby! Right. A baby Pterodex, to be exact! <laughs> he didn't deserve it. He Stared didn't it. deserve it. It's okay, he got his... Like, my the worst thing is that? that you oh. pronounce the P. <laughs> it's it's a hard P. It's the capital letter. <laughs> you have to pronounce it. They sound like guys. It's the skill. most pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> or he just fucking kills him, just like zombie and back. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're getting off that subject here. No, no that's guys. Well, that's 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 like, oh, 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 <laughs> point is though. Point is, is that Shiranui is going to win at the end of the season. This is the last season of Vanguard. We're done after this. Yeah. This is it. Nice. Season twelve or uh, set twelve is the last set. Ever. Uh, so just cash out. Uh, no. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> He's joking, guys. We're in done case, here. Oh. In case you're curious, <laughs> he's really not going. He's joking. Get your info at. Yeah, they Diesel want to play Dragonborn. We're just going to Dragonborn in, man. I'm not going to watch it. Oh, watch God. It. I'm just gonna, I'm not going to touch new card games. <laughs> Fuck chaos. I just can't trust new card None games anymore. All right. Um, so the end of that episode ended with uh, Chrono getting his ass beat. And uh, he talks to his friends and he's like, guys, now that you know the truth, we got to fight this out. I'm going to win tomorrow for you, okay? And Tyler's like, okay, Chrono. And he's like, all right, Cosma. And Cosma just starts walking away. And he's like, no, Cosma. Watch me lose tomorrow. <laughs> Cosma, watch me lose again. I need you, bro. I need you to watch Cosma, me lose. You to it makes me watch feel so What do you good. mean, my brother? You fucking dragon. No, Cosma doesn't even... one fucking thing. I'm, I, I Cosma doesn't care about... Phone tomorrow. He doesn't care about the glory. He doesn't care about Kray. He doesn't care about his brother being fucking possessed. He's just walking away, just mumbling. Two Chrono Claw monkeys. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> there was actually... I mean, I play Leofil, but fuck. <laughs> one, one could. And five. Well, I'll the issue. I have been bugs <laughs> been bugging me out the past okay. few episodes okay, with the domination. So, in the original Vanguard, you know, Link Joker, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ren fights Kai, and he literally says, "Oh, you're running the new Overlord, right?" So he knows this is a card, but every time this guy's used a domination skill, the, the first thing they say is. Domination? <laughs> that happens a lot, though. Like, especially with these cards that just come out of thin air. Like, like how to agree? No one knew what that did. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that bugged what? me for a bit. Like, you why is Toko not... the only one that gets the G? Card? It's just like uh, it's I just... mean, it, it pulls the thing where Let's... as Cray gets more involved, we just sometimes have cards materialize, like the whole G guard thing. Like, she wasn't playing a G guard, and then just boom, G guard. It's like okay. I say this, but I know someone. Some of the comments, oh, but what about the pen cards? <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, I mean, and what about, uh, what about, what's his name, uh, the, the blaster dude from season, from the Limit Break season, uh, Light and Dark dude. Blaster oh, yeah, Dark Majesty blaster. Lord, yeah. Majesty yeah. Lord Blaster. He just kind of fight. It was just like, why don't you create a card? Okay, I create the card of compromise. Woo. <laughs> you kind of just got to chalk it up to heart of the cards, right? Card yeah. Game anime magic. Yeah, and I mean it's no different than than you. Yeah, you know, right. Sometimes I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> cage revive your revival jam, and now we're stuck in an infinite loop. And on that conversation, that, that is one thing that made me sad about the show. I love that in the original series, they just went to a shop, and if Aichi got new cards, it's because he opened a pack, and they were usually yeah. actually descent of like the King of Knights packs, and yeah. like that's how he got his grade three. It's like here's Gancelot. I pulled it from a pack. Is this Bridget? Right. But so now it's just good. yeah, man. Stride this card that never existed. Right. Okay. Well, that's and that, and you see that's you literally bugged me, just like the GVA episode. GVA. What the fuck? Mm. 
Uh, yeah. It was out in America first. All yeah, right. it came out here first. Yeah. That's why you didn't know about it, guys. Uh, By the way, GB8 stop, drops next Friday. Yeah, that's right. Pick up. This Friday, rather. This Friday. This Friday. That's right. Oh, no. But, depends. It really depends when he posts his video. But I've been holding it in America for a year, <laughs> waiting for waiting for Karna. Huh? We would tell you to buy it, but we want you to stop playing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> sure, Not play all the GB8s. If you want to play four GB8s every deck, I mean, that just sounds like four wins. I mean, why play four? Oh, Didn't play six. Dude, that Link Joker one's like 20 bucks. Is he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, he, he helps you with outs. We were talking about running six heel Luard, and I think that that's a, <laughs> it's a, that's solid a viable strategy. Strat. <laughs> strat. It's a solid strategy. No I mean, it only works if you're on... playing five stride Luards. True. Okay. That's uh, what makes it work. No yeah. one knows Allah. if you're cheating if they're, if it's all the same card. Mm. Right. I mean, I've, I've had to teach so many Luard tower, uh, players how to play. Like, no one understands, man. Crisis Revenge or Fritz. I'll body you. <laughs> right. I'm not in the fritz. It's OP. That's a 5k van. You call a sword breaker in front, that's 11k column. That's foul, you kids. <laughs> that's what we call at least a five guard. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, man. Okay. So I think that's it for the G Zone tonight. Yeah, um, indubitably. It's, it's late. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know, if you guys have any topics that you want us to address next week, we will talk about them. Otherwise, we will catch you on the Round flip side. Bye. Yeah, drive through Bye. Us. Drive through us. Yo, Vu, don't forget to send your... Or dot ta dot net dot com forward slash edu dot ru slash en slash en. What about that for JP? Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go to the slash JP page. It's a very different thing. Same guy though, weirdly. He's, he's actually just taking a big candy or into your mouth. <laughs> it's all pixelated though, so it's not yeah, as well. It's okay. Would not recommend. You see the sad part is he's gonna call it that like Friday and I'm just gonna be like on the stream. You still dick in your mouth. Right? Right? That's <laughs> the problem. So we can't ever talk about shit because it always comes back to haunt me in live streams and shit. <laughs> so uh, I actually visited this center. <laughs> I actually Googled I tried it. to go to DieselDickingAround.org. <laughs> there was just a shit ton of pictures of, of Matt and actual Vin Diesel. It turned out to just redirect me to Meat Spin. I <laughs> What's the appeal? <laughs> What's the it appeal? With the redirect <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, you ready? <laughs> that's, that's right, what right, right, He right, says that. We've been recording for the last five minutes. Cool. Alright. I hope that's you all recorded. Hey everybody, it's G-Zone! Hey! Nice. Welcome to the Vanguard Circle. Uh, we got Diesel, we got Kohelf, we got Kusei, we got Ursus, and we've got Kitty. It's pronounced Zulier. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Why do I have to shoot every opening twice? Oh, see, Boo, now he pronounced it wrong, so now we have to do another take. Uh, Some people just can't say Zorbanok, man.